All right, Paleo Nick here. Today I'm excited to teach you to make prosciutto crusted salmon with apple and whittled asparagus. So stay tuned and let me be your guide to culinary fitness. All right, so we'll start with the uh, whittled asparagus. Here's an example of two full-size asparagus stalks. I've cut them down, just cut the woody end off so they're about that size. And then I've taken these here and whittled them down. I'll show you how to do that. So the basic vegetable peeler, about halfway. Just wanna peel the skin from that bottom half. Looks like that. Again here, just make sure you're turning and you get it nice and even. A lot of times if you, uh, if you stay in one spot for too long, this ends up really flat. You wanna kinda of keep that roundness. And uh, we'll just do two more. So here you have it, your whittled asparagus. We're gonna pair that up with some nice, sweet shallots. I've got some sliced up here. I'm just gonna run my knife through a couple times. It's kind of a, a rough chop on that. All right, so we're at the stove now. We've got our pan preheated right at about 350 degrees. I'm gonna add some olive oil. I'll grab my shallots. There you go. Nice sizzle going right away. Just kind of open those up a little bit, get some flavor going. Asparagus. Just gonna coat these lightly, hit them with some salt and pepper at this point. What else? A little bit of chili. I'm gonna turn it down about medium low, cover that with a lid. Or trap some of that moisture in there that's gonna steam the asparagus. All right, pork product, Alaskan salmon, tough to beat. Throw in a Granny Smith apple, and that really turns up the heat. <laughs> All right, I've got my mandolin set up here. Thin sliced apples, I'm just gonna show you this. Nice and easy, You're looking for about six slices. All right, if you don't have a mandolin, you can use a knife. It's gonna take a lot more skill that out of the way and just get it as thin as possible. They don't even have to be whole slices as you'll see in a minute. We're going to take our salmon, one, two, three, prosciutto, boom, get that one ready. Fold this one the opposite way. Take and flip that over, okay. A little bit of salt, apple, and bring that around. Bring this guy around. Tuck it in there. Tuck that guy there. All right, so we're all prepped out. Take that over to the stove check on our asparagus and sear off our salmon. Yes. Asparagus here, flip that a couple times, you can see it turning bright green. Uh, having whittled away some of the skin, it's not gonna take as long to cook. Take and keep that covered, turn it down one more notch, just above the lowest setting, and uh, we'll sear off our salmon here. This, seam side down. Let that cook for about a minute on that side, then we'll flip it over and toss it in the oven. Oven at this point is preheated to 400 degrees. So the salmon's been searing on that first side there for about two minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over. And it won't take much longer after this, so. Just get it flipped over. You could finish it here on the stove top, but it's getting smoky in here. So I'm gonna finish it off in the oven. We're gonna take a look at our asparagus. It's looking pretty good to me. And I'll always throw in one or two extra spears so that I can have a tester. That's just about there. I'm gonna stay another 30 seconds. At this point, I'm gonna squeeze some Lemon juice, we'll go two wedges. Tiny bit of chili. There we 
there we go. So we're gonna go ahead and plate that asparagus while the salmon's finishing up, and we're gonna plate it up and eat. Our asparagus is done. I just had another little sample. I'm gonna take these spears, bring them across this plate. Now if you're on the zone, in the zone portions here, don't be afraid to uh, double or triple the amount of asparagus. Maybe have a nice little side salad beforehand. And then we're just gonna finish this nice, simple, and clean with some lemon zest. Those with the asparagus complements the salmon. There you have it prosciutto crusted salmon with apples and whittled asparagus. I'm Paleo Nick. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make this, and we'll see you in the next episode.